Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable search engine friendly URLs in PrestaShop. For starters, let's go to our home page and look at one of our uh, item pages. This is an iPod Nano, obviously. So, um, as you can see here, our URL has not been rewritten. It currently displays the name of the page and the ID of the product. This number basically here retrieves information from our database and populates uh, this page with uh, information about our item. For example, the name, the description, the price, the retail price, uh, attributes, images, etc. What we will want to do is we will want to rewrite this URL so that the name of our item is displayed in it. For starters, PrestaShop is SEO friendly in many ways. For example, if we look at the source of our uh, document here, you will see that our page has a meta title tag, a meta description tag, H1 heading tags, and our image tags have the title attribute in them, which basically tells search engines what our image is about. Now I'm going to go to google.com so that I show you exactly how this information is displayed in search results. So I'm going to type in iPod Nano and as you can see here the first result is from Apple. This name right here Google actually uses the meta title tag to populate that information. The description, in most cases, it uses the meta description tag. If uh, a website doesn't have a meta description tag, Google does search the page and try to find appropriate information to display in its search results. But by adding the meta description tag, you're actually telling Google exactly what information you want displayed in its search results. In images, you will see images of iPod Nanos. Google basically uses that title attribute from the image tag to display this information. Now we're going to click on this result so that I can show you exactly how this information uh, matches the meta tags on it, the page. As you can see, Apple uses a lot of images text, etc. Therefore, it might be difficult for Google to understand exactly which information to display in its search results. So when we look at the source of the page, we will see the title and the description. As you can see, the description iPod Nano features a multi-touch display, built-in Bluetooth, FM radio, video, and more. Just $149. When we go back to the results page, you will notice that that information is displayed in these results, in this particular result. Now this URL here, if you notice, it has the iPod Nano in the path field. This is basically what we want to do. We want this URL to change and we want it to display this information right here. So what we do is we go into our Press the Shop Admin panel. We hover over Preferences and we click on SEO and URLs. Further down on the page where it says set up URLs, we're going to hit the radio button, yes. Now notice further down, it says automatically redirect to canonical URL. We want to enable this, but for the de demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave this as no, so that I can show you exactly what happens when we keep this disabled. So I'm going to save. You're going to want to keep watching. So now right here we're back at our product page. When we hit enter on this URL, you will see that it hasn't changed. But if we go to our home page and if we click on the product, you will notice that the URL has changed. It now displays the name of our product in the URL. Also, our home page can be accessed from two URLs through index 
.php and through the URL itself. This creates duplicate content and search engines do not like duplicate content. For this reason, we must enable automatically redirect to canonical URL. Click Save. Now, when we try to access that index.php page, you will see that it redirects to our home page, therefore eliminating duplicate content. Now we go back to that old um, iPod Nano page and see how it redirects to the rewritten URL page. For the meta title tag and the description tag, we can actually customize this information. We can do this by going to Catalog and Product. You can add a new item or edit an existing item. In the SEO section, we can enter custom information. For example, I will change this from iPod Nano to iPod Nano 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. For the de description tag, I'm going to enter in um, some other information. And for keywords, I'm going to enter in iPod Nano, iPod 8 gigabytes, iPod. 16 gigabytes. And for the friendly URL, I'm going to change it from iPod Nano to iPod Nano 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. And I'm going to click the save icon. Now we can look at our product page and see whether the changes have taken effect. As you can see, our URL has changed the title tag has changed, and the description has changed as well. And now we also have a keywords meta tag, which displays information that we entered in the keyword meta tag uh, field. Of course, we can also make changes to our categories. As you can see, even categories have uh, URL rewrites built into them. They also have a title tag and a description tag. Here you will notice that we do not have a keywords tag, but we can enter in that information as well. So let's go back to our admin panel, hover over catalog and click on categories. Now we will edit the accessories category. And in the meta title tag, uh, in the meta title field, we will enter iPod accessories. In the description, we will write stuff for your iPod. And for keywords, pod charger, remember to hit enter, pod headphones. And the friendly URL, I'm going to change it from accessories to iPod accessories. And I'm going to click the save icon. And now when I refresh the page, you will notice that that information has changed to the information that we just entered. Our URL now displays iPod accessories. Our title displays iPod accessories our description, stuff for your iPod, and keywords, iPod charger, iPod headphones. Thanks for watching and please uh, stay tuned for more e-commerce tutorial videos.